the time and stand up and fight for them for another five years. Um, it's a massive honour, it's a great conviction, I'm very grateful for them. I mean, then, you must feel it's vindication of your own campaign to get uh, such a high majority this time, well up from the end of 2010. I don't want to sort of claim the credit personally. You know, lots of people have helped us. We've had a very good, very strong campaign. You know, we've worked very hard on this. And um, it looks like the hard work is paid off, so, you know, I'm very grateful today. Obviously, uh, it's looking nationally that it's going to be a tough night for Labour, but do you believe your own uh, poll today is an indication that the party still has a resonance with Dudley voters? Uh, well, look, I, you know, I think we set out a, a sort of clear, you know, some clear ideas to people in Dudley, trying to save the jobs at the hospital, trying to keep the police station open, um, trying to improve things in the town centre. Um, although some of these things might be difficult now if we have another, you know, another Tory government and another sort of load of cutbacks and all that, but um, and trying to make education skills the number one priority for Dudley, mm -hmm. so that we can attract the town the new jobs and new investment. But our prosperity will depend on the future. So that's the case we set out, and people in Dudley voted for it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, thanks a lot. Good day. People in my area as an MP, and it was, I can think of no greater honour to, than to do that. Mm -hmm. However, looking at it from a UK point of view, we've more than tripled our vote, I believe. Uh, we've played a really strong part in this. We've done a great positive campaign. We've done well in every single ward in this constituency. There's not been an area where we've been left for dead. And I think it, it bodes well for the future. We've got a lot of positives to take from this. We regroup, we'll learn from what's happened, we'll push on, and next time we'll come back stronger. Do you believe there was a money that was splitting the vote between Tories and so on there and then you kicked it No, out? no, I don't think so at all. I think where we were, actually, the areas where I think we did particularly well were where we bit into the Labour vote. Mm -hmm. What we haven't done is managed to bite into the Conservative vote. Mm -hmm. And I think the Conservatives have taken some from us. A lot of people got frightened by their negative campaigning about the SNP. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it did suck some of our support away from us. I think it's a shame uh, because I believe in positive campaigning and putting forward a vision for the future rather than trying to terrify people about some bogey man. But I, you know, it worked on the day, knocked us down, took our challenge away from, from winning, and uh, ended up with a Labour increased majority. So there you go, vote Tory, get Labour. Where do you think uh, this goes for the party now going forward? It obviously, the uh, council elections tomorrow. In the future, do you think that you can still strong force into that? We're, we're optimistic for tomorrow because although um, today, <laughs> today whether well, it's scarce, we're optimistic because we've got some really strong local candidates whose local appeal may just be enough to push from a lot of the seconds that we saw around the, the, the wards tonight, push them into taking it. And we're really optimistic about that. And if we don't do it this time, well, never mind. Never mind. We'll, we'll gather our thoughts and we'll come back and we will eventually win because we'll keep on going until we do. Thanks a lot, all the best. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you.